Well, Andrea, with Gobius being a Swedish company, I guess you'll know, why does the Norwegian Navy have barcodes on the side of their ships? I don't know. So that when the ships come back into port, they can Scandinavian. <laughs> but I digress. Now, if you were using a larger tank, how does that work? Well, multiple sensors can be used to measure the fluid in the tank. So, how many sensors per tank and how many tanks? Up to nine sensors can be attached per tank, and then with each tank named separately, additional tanks will register separately in the app, and it is then possible to scroll between them. Each tank has a separate dot at the bottom of the screen. That's great. Let's get the screen capture up in shot so we can see how that works. Okay, Brad, first on multiple sensors, as they are added from the bottom of the tank to upwards, each levels are detected by the sensors. Here we have a tank with three sensors. The Bluetooth icons are telling us that our smartphone is connected via Bluetooth. If they are red, we are not connected. If we scroll down the screen, you see the options for setting the output warning alarm or signal for if the level is above or below the sensor. And it also allows for the always on or always on if above or below options. Okay, Andrea, so to access the menu, I click the wheel icon in the bottom right and then follow the menus for the different functions. That's right, Brad, and you can press select extra measure at any time for an ad hoc measurement. Okay. I can see the bar icon is moving when the measuring is going on. Uh, that's right, and if more liquid is uh, present by tilting the tank like this, and I press extra measure, and it measures, you can hear the noise. Okay, there you go. The bar is showing halfway and it is reading correctly. And if I tilt the tank to full and click measure again. Yep, now we have full bar. The fish eyes can be set to light up if empty or full. The outputs can be used to switch or trigger another external device, pump or valve. Okay. At the bottom of the screen, can we see the other tanks? Not just yet, Brad, but if I bring back a single sensor and plug it in, set start the app again, uh, it will sense the new tank, which is already named, and two dots appear. There, tank one, the single sensor tank, and tank two, the multiple sensor tank. Okay, so I can do all of the editing within the app for each tank accordingly, and add additional sensors on new tanks as I please. That's right, Brad. And remember, you can give a man a gobious fish and monitor his tank for a day or teach him to program the app and confuse him for life. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's got my seal of approval. I'll drink to that. But like the seal said, only if you leave out the Canadian club. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to find out more about this fantastic product, you can reach out to Andrea or the team by visiting their website. I'm sure they'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching.